Hey everybody, Day really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Rain de Fleur along Orpheus's route. And we're in Ravia with him. He asked for a kiss in return for a secret. He only asked because he didn't think we would agree to it, but we did. And now he's trying to take it back. Naughty Orpheus. You can't take it back. Give me that kiss that you just requested. You asked for it. You gotta take it now. Well, anyway, <laughs> you can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Uh, hold on. I take it back. I take it all back. No! Can you give me your hand? Uh, my hand? Because you didn't say where, did you? Ah, clever Violet. I didn't, but... So, your hand. That's cheating! If you specified on the lips, I would have thought about it a little more. Just a little more. <sighs> Although I want to know what you really meant by that. I didn't think you would find a loophole like this. I just can't beat you. That's right, I win. I am the rain. Who's the rain? He gives me a bitter smile and looks straight at my face. I'm sorry, Violet. Can I just apologize to you first? Why, you're always messing around. We're used to it. Honestly speaking, I thought you would give up if I told you that. Uh? I really feel bad. I'm sorry, but it's something hard for me to say. Well, I need to be really determined in order to say it. That's okay. But since you're so hesitant, I'm really curious now. I can't tell you here. Can we step outside? Alright, so we came inside to talk, and now we're going outside to talk. Why can't you tell me here? It seems we've been talking for quite a while. The sun's already set. Orpheus says awkwardly, pointing at one corner of the garden. If you don't mind, can we sit at the water's edge over there? Sure, we can. If anyone else were here, I would not have been able to do so, as I would have been scolded for acting inappropriately. But still, I feel like our minds can become closer if I do as he does, so I sit on the grass with him. The sky is closer in Partadam. What? When I look up from here, I feel like I can reach the moon and stars. The same sky I see, I wonder if it looks different in his eyes. And I feel a little sad that I will never see what he sees. When you passed out before, the sky was raging. The change in my state of mind is reflected in this sky. So, the reason why the sky is so beautiful right now is because you are so beautiful? Oh, what a line. Are you being smooth there, Orpheus? When I realize that his voice is so near, I quickly turn my head. Orpheus, you just told me that Asagi is special to me. Yes, that's right, because Asagi's watched over me all this time. She instructed me like a teacher for me to be a knight, just like the master who taught me how to play a harp. What was your master like? He was strict and quiet, but a very kind old man. He taught me, a person who had no memory, family, or anything, how to survive. He told me that he gave up on being a poet since his eyes weren't good. That doesn't make any sense. You don't have to write it down. You can have somebody else write it down for you. All you have to do is come up with the poems. I don't think I've reached him yet. Well, I'll never be able to reach him now since he's dead. Ugh. Death. It is the same as wilting for Hanabito. If a person who is really close to you and gave you everything dies, how much pain has Orpheus gone through? I'm really sorry to hear that. It was a long time ago. I've already emotionally recovered from it. As you already know, I've traveled all my life. So, I met a lot of people, but there's only three that I can say are special to me. One is my master, and one is Asagi. Then, the last one's you. Me? Since that day we made our oaths and put on the rings, there's been a special connection between us. To you, it was an important ceremony to accept the knight's oaths. But to me, it actually meant much more than that. A real connection with another person. That was my first time feeling it. Orpheus gently smiles while touching his thumb where he put the ring on. But your words made me notice that there are different degrees of special. When you told me that Asagi is a special person, I just said that she's like my family, but I said that because I didn't want you to misunderstand. Misunderstand? About what? <sighs> you still don't get it. Yep, I'm still clueless. 
You know, Asagi is a woman, and I'm a man, although she doesn't look at us that way. Oh, look at you blushing again. I'm talking about the kind of special that a woman is to a man. His expression and awkward words stir my thoughts. So, you mean... You thought I would misunderstand the difference in what you meant between special and love. Yes, exactly. But you don't mean that, right? Uh, of course. But I just don't want you to think that way, even for a little. Ugh. What is this? Some unexplainable feeling is growing in my heart. You still don't understand it? Warm, soft feelings seem to be forming into something. As I am deep in thought, Orpheus gives me a big sigh. Yeah, I'm giving you one too, inwardly. Ah, you're seriously... Oh. Uh, Orpheus places his hand on top of mine. The feeling of his bare skin. The warmth gradually seeps into mine. It's a little warm. I just remain quiet until Orpheus speaks. Please, notice my feelings. How can you not after that? There's no mistaking it now. Just like I noticed. Uh, Orpheus. If you won't, then I'll make you notice. Just like this. Eee! Most of Orpheus's other illustrations make him look more adult. This one makes him look young. I get a gently melting feeling as his breath tickles me. His lips touch my cheek. The feeling of this gentle touch is a new experience for me. I love you, Violet. <gasps> I won't accept any excuse if you're pretending not to know. Good boy, Orpheus. Who'd have thought he could be so forward? He was so timid before, now he's forceful. Well, slightly. You're the kind of special to me that's different from all the others. This isn't just the adoration that a knight has for a reign. I love you, as a man loves a woman. While leaving a warmth deep inside my body, Orpheus's lips leave my skin. Ugh. Ugh! That warmth is heating up to a fever. I stand and turn away from him. Is that a delayed reaction there? I just can't look at his face right now. Uh, Orpheus. What? Why did you... kiss? What was... Why do you think? Okay, calm down. I don't understand what you're trying to say. How can I be calm right now? I turn around in the heat of the moment. Then, I instantly regret it. Oh. <laughs> He looks so bashful. If Orpheus was his usual self, I could have managed to calm down, but... Uh... His face is also blushing, a light pink, like the color of cherry blossoms. Orpheus, are you blushing too? I have been all this time. Has anybody ever told you that you're really oblivious to these sort of things? I have, but you can't hear me. And probably half the people watching this channel have too. No. I think you're really oblivious. Because nobody's ever done this sort of thing to me before. I see. So, this is your first time then. Why do you look so happy? Because he's your first. He's happy to be your first. Because you're finally aware of my feelings. So... But still, how could you do that? Because if I didn't, you never would have noticed. Yeah, we never would have gotten anywhere like that. And I really tried hard not to take it too far. How is that not too far? Hmm? I only kissed you on the cheek, nothing more. Yeah, just be glad you didn't go anywhere else. Ugh. Of course, I want to kiss something else next time. Specifically, your... Don't say it! Why not? Look at us both still blushing. <laughs> oh man, how innocent you two are. Although... I'm really loving Orpheus's confidence right now. It's so weird that he's so much more confident and forward than even Leon and Gizlon were in their own routes. Well, anyway, we'll finish our blushing tournament in the next episode. Hope to see you there or on one of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me. And I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.